I built this drill storage and it works great. But what I thought would be a good addition is some kind of storage that can go up here and keep my most used drill bits. I've got a little scrap of 18 mil ply, which I think would do it. So first I need to work out how thick this pole is and if I've got a saw that's gonna be able to cut it out. So it looks like this is gonna be around the 70 mil mark. So I'm gonna have a look at my hole saw collection. Unfortunately, the closest I've got to 70 is 86, but I think we can make that work. So looking at this now, I don't think I need this bit of wood to be as wide. So I can mark it out and get it cut down on the table saw. I want the hole to be drilled close to one end. So I can get it centered and marked out where it needs to go. Now I have this all set up. This seems like the right tool to use to do it. got the hole cut out but I already know it's going to be far too loose on the pillar so what I need to do is not just cut this open I need to remove a couple centimeter section from the middle I'm going to use the mitre gauge on the table saw to get this middle section removed These bits now were clamped nicely around the pillar. But this is all very square at the moment, so I'd like to round off all the corners. I'm gonna mark that out and get it done on the bandsaw. So when I cut them out, I've cut little ledges onto the end piece and I've given everything a sand down. Now I need a way of clamping the two bits together and what I'm going to go for is some bolts and some threaded inserts. I'm going to see if I can get both halves clamped together in the vise and drill through both bits at the same time. Holes for the inserts need widening a little. Now I could just use an Allen key to wind them into place. Before I go any further with this, I'm just going to have a little test, make sure it's actually going to work. And I think it is.
So now I need to install some drill bits in it. So I've got this set that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no nine and a 10 mil. I've got a couple of other bits that are two and a 2.5, which are useful. I've got some countersinking bits some center drilling bits and some plug cutting and countersinks. I said countersinks, a different type of countersink. So I think this is kind of my most used woodworking selection. So now I'm just gonna mark out where they need to go and start drilling some holes. Now I can chuck up the drill bit that needs to go in each of the holes and drill them out. This might take a while. I know this is only a bit of workshop storage, but I think I'll try and make it look a little better. And I'm gonna stain it black with some India ink. Now this ink has dried, I can get it all clamped back into place. Now it's just a case of getting this all filled up. So there we go, really simple little project. Now it can be moved without actually using any tools. It's just got a friction fit on there, but I could snug it up more or loosen it off if I needed to. I think that's just got my most used stuff that I can grab really easily. And I don't think it's gonna get in the way because you're never gonna to need to raise the table higher than the chuck. So that's it all done. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.